Michaela Schul is in good spirits, but her parents are not optimistic about her future prospects. They're desperate to see her escape poverty. The family lives in Modric, in the southwest of Bosnia Herzegovina, close to the Croatian border. There's no work here. The old state enterprises were shut down before the war. The area has still not recovered from the devastation of the Balkan Wars of the 1990s. But the people here, most of them Bosnian Croats, lead privileged lives compared to other parts of the country. Qualifying as binationals means they can work in Croatia. The family's oldest daughter already lives there, and with Croatia about to join the EU, Michaela also hopes for new opportunities. This is the day they commemorate the dead in Modric, and many natives have returned home for the observance. Some drive cars with German or Austrian license plates. I have Croatian citizenship, and I think a lot of people will move, not just to Austria, but all over Europe. The EU has always attracted itinerant labourers. Now, white-collar workers have the opportunity to emigrate there, in many cases for good. Young members of this church will soon be able to go to university in the EU, thanks to their Croatian passports. But the anticipated brain drain could mean new problems for the patchwork state of Bosnia-Herzegovina especially in Mostar, the largest city in the southwest of the country. The conflicts of the 1990s left bad blood between ethnic Croats and Muslim Bosniaks. Many Croats still refuse to recognize the country they share with Bosniaks and insist on autonomy. The divisions still persist, but Harris Idritz and Marina Japic want to bring young people together at the Mostar Youth Council. One recent joint art project involved the painting of this ruin. He's Bosniak, while Marina is ethnic Croatian. In their view, every young person who leaves the city means one less symbol of a shared peaceful future. It keeps dividing, it keeps dividing the whole city. It keeps uh, putting those barriers. For those with Croatian passports, at least, previous barriers to the EU are now gone. Haris is a teacher at this school in Mostar, Classes are taught separately according to ethnic and religious background. We talk to some of the Croat students during lunch break and hear about their big plans. I want to go visit my brother in Nuremberg and learn German, and then go to college there eventually. Harris's Bosniak pupils do not have that option. It adds to the youngsters' frustration. It's not fair. They have dual citizenship and can work here and in Croatia. But that's how the law is, and the law is made by the state. That would be Bosnian law, which has yet to deal with this issue. Croatia's accession could initially mean a step back for Bosnia. A step back in terms of peaceful inter-ethnic relations in Mostar, while rural communities like Michaela's may see the numbers of young people declining still further.